Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Professor Norman Cornett, religious studies scholar, art critic, and curator, with the painting of Juan Aquino, entitled Facing the City. We may associate the city with urban sprawl, with urban excess, but Juan Aquino aestheticizes the city. For him, the city is a prime referent. We see the bridge that leads to this city. We think of Simon and Garfunkel's, a bridge over troubled waters. Rather than associating the urban space with noise, indeed noise pollution, with that which makes humans dehumanized, depersonalized, steals their individuality. In fact, Juan Aquino conceives the city as a spiritual homeland. And when I look at facing the city, I realize a profound dialogue between this painter and the philosopher Augustine. In his masterpiece, Civitas Dei, City of God, rather than bringing us down, for Juan Aquino, the city represents us, the ascension of humanity. And no wonder, he continues the dialogue functionally with that classic of English literature, second only to the Bible, The Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan in the 1600s. Amidst the Civil War of England, how do we find a bridge over troubled waters? How do we make the link between the city of humans and the heavenly city? I'm intrigued by the engagement of Juan Aquino with the built environment. Here, he shows us a city that rather than threatening our humanity, beckons us, calls us as the city of light, as the city of repose. There is an underlying, even a basal serenity, quietness, peace in this urban scape. In 2022, do we associate the megapolis with our sense of inner wellness? Could Juan Aquino, in fact, resort to not simply landscape, but to the urban scape as a way of finding resolution between the city of humans and the city of God. To all intents and purposes, in his work facing the city, Juan Aquino ironically sacralizes the urban environment, the urban scape, the built environment, which welcomes us, receives us, and constitutes our spiritual homeland. This explains the lights, not unlike the gospel narratives of a city on 
a hill that draws us in. And where at last we find peace. I invite you to discover the art of Juan Aquino at Juan Aquino Blogspot.